Which cigar is the best of all time? We tried to answer that question in our previous video. Although we took only the best on our boat, some missed the list simply because the competition was so tough. But we heard your feedback and decided to add the top three cigar brands that are considered the best according to our fans. So let's get into the list and find out who holds the crown. Number three, Oliva. One of the largest tobacco producers in Nicaragua has scooped up several top top ratings and awards, including Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year. Fabulous construction, quality, and consistency are reflected in each cigar. Oliva is in the regular rotation of cigar lovers who seek out quality cigars for good value. Milanio Oliva cultivated his first tobacco crop in Pinar del Rio, Cuba in 1886, but growing operations were suspended while he fought in the Cuban War of Independence. In early in early 1920, Melanio's son Facundo Oliva took over the growing operations, cultivating the Oliva family tobacco fields for several decades as Cuba became overrun by the communists. Facundo's son Gilberto Oliva shifted from growing to selling tobacco. In the early 60s, the pressure became too great. Gilberto traveled worldwide, searching for the conditions to recreate that distinctive Cuban taste. Gilberto visited Honduras, Panama, Mexico, and even the Philippines before finally finding fertile ground in Nicaragua. Today, Gilberto and his family are Nicaragua's second largest grower of Cuban seed tobacco. Using these same time-tested curing, blending, and rolling methods that built an empire, the Oliva Cigar lineup has garnered tons of top ratings from industry experts and consumers alike. Oliva has an extensive portfolio of fine, handcrafted premium cigars in various strengths and price ranges, so choosing the perfect blend has always been a challenge. This extensive line includes the creamy smooth, soft to medium bodied Oliva Connecticut Reserve varieties and the medium bodied G and Siri O series, available in your choice of EMS and Maduro wraps. Oliva is also responsible for the groundbreaking Nub series, made in a short bat size designed to hit the proverbial sweet spot the moment you light it up. Coffee lovers will also crave Nub because it features single roast, double roast, and triple roast blends containing premium Nicaraguan tobaccos infused with the finest coffee beans. Number 2. Drew Estate Drew Estate is home to some of the planet's most popular premium cigar blend. However, the brand's history doesn't reflect instant success, but rather an unyielding desire to create unique cigars that challenge the principles of traditional cigar blending. While other top brands were produced by a family of Cuban cigar makers, Drew Estate was founded by two fraternity brothers who boldly opened a small, 16-square-foot cigar retail kiosk in New York's World Trade Center in 1998. Driven by a passion for the country of Nicaragua and the highest quality tobacco grown there, Jonathan Drew and Marvin Samuel moved their cigar production to Nicaragua, where today they thrive as Nicaragua's largest premium cigar manufacturers. In addition to using conventional Nicaraguan tobacco grown on their prestigious farms across the country, Drew Estate imports tobacco from Kentucky, Louisiana, Syria, Brazil, and Turkey. Whether you prefer smoking traditional traditional style, or being at the forefront of creative blend, Drew Estate has the perfect cigar for your taste, lifestyle, and budget. From their masterfully infused gourmet blended cigars to their ultra-premium, long-filler cigars, they have developed a cult following in the cigar industry. Number 1. Padron The history of Padron cigars dates back to the middle of the 19th century, when the founder of the Damaso Padron family began to grow tobacco in Pinar del Rio, the best tobacco region in Cuba. The Padron family's tobacco was used for the filling and the wrapper. For over a hundred years, they have accumulated experience in tobacco growing and have created their traditions. The Cuban Revolution forced Jose Padron, Damaso's grandson, to leave the island. He settled in Miami, where he opened the first cigar factory in 1964. After seven years, he moved to Nicaragua. But due to the outbreak of civil war, Jose Padron was forced to once again look for a new home. All Padron production was concentrated in Honduras for five years, until the U.S. embargo on Nicaragua was lifted. The Padron family had difficulty initially building their reputation. Living in a small apartment, above the factory. 
but their cigars were still the primary value. In 1993, Padron took part in their first cigar show, gaining worldwide popularity. Today, the company produces more than 5 million cigars annually. Padron remains a family business run by Damaso Padron's great-grandchildren. Every year, Padron pleases its fans with a special edition. The number of such cigars is always limited. The emphasis in the Padron family is traditionally placed on exceptional quality. Each of their cigars is a work of art, accessible only to true connoisseurs of perfect tobacco. Experts consider the Padron 1964 anniversary one of the best cigars in the world. But what do you think? Would you like to add another brand to our list? Let us know in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can continue to enjoy the excellent content we send your way.